So you want to buy a Ryan ST. You may be out of luck. There's only a handful left in the world and they don't go for sale very often, but that's okay because this isn't a Ryan ST. It's a Timber Tiger STL, which is a Ryan ST replica kit plane that you can buy today. There are two things I really like about this plane. First, it's gorgeous. Timber Tiger STL, like the Ryan ST it replicates, are some of the most beautiful airplanes of any type of all time. Easily top five, possibly top three. I did my best here with the drawing, but it really doesn't do it justice. Below is a link to my friend Brooks' channel. He's a test pilot for Timber Tiger and has some nice videos of the real thing. So the second thing I like about this plane is that it's a replica of a really beautiful and completely unattainable airplane. Not only is it a replica, but how it was replicated. Just the good stuff was kept. So the looks basically. Modern engine, modern construction, and modern materials. Original, authentic, blah blah blah. That's all fine, but for average pilots, I'm quite happy with the modern safe stuff, thanks very much. The original probably runs on coal or whale blubber pass. In case any airplane designers are listening, de Havilland DH-88 Comet would make for a slick replica. Performance is, well, it's not the point. The point is to cruise around with no top, taking folks for rides, having them sit in the front and wearing steampunk goggles. The point is getting lots of attention at airports and polishing the aluminum on the ground in the hangar when the weather isn't just right. It does all of those things very well. These numbers are all for a Rotex 912, but it's experimental, so you could try something else if you want. Some people are building theirs with a vernal radial engine. It's a fairly new design and only the prototype has sold so far. There's about a dozen or so still under construction that I know about. Building it will cost you between $80 and $100,000. Unlike people, really beautiful airplanes cost the same to maintain as regular ones. Lightweight experimentals like this one cost even less than most. Another bonus of modern parts and materials. The wings are fabric and the cockpit is open, so a hangar is a must. Fun fact, this plane has the same wing rib as a Kit Fox 4. Hmm, so there you go. The 1930s was a special time for aviation. It was still finding its place. It was past the time where the main goal was just to make the thing fly, but before the time where economics, efficiency, and mass production were the driving factors. 30s aviation was, for a brief time, all about style. Ryan ST is a result of that. The DH-88 comic is as well. Beach Stagger Wing is another product of the 30s. Owning a plane from this era is unrealistic for just about anybody who has the time to enjoy it. A modern, cost-effective replica that captures the style and experience at the affordable price of any other lightweight kit plane sounds like a great idea to me. That's the Timber Tiger STL Ryan ST replica. Thanks for watching and see you in the next.